How do I pitch a venture capital firm? Hey there. Well, there comes a time in a business where you want to go for serious growth, but you need to get some meaningful cash on board to be able to do it. So I'm specifically talking about companies that are looking for a type of financing that comes from venture capital firms. If you want to know a little bit more about that kind of financing, check out my previous video on the types of financing you should get. So venture capital firms are frequently called VCs for short. Venture capital firms is where we've raised the majority of the money for Shoes of Prey to date. We've embarrassed ourselves in front of some of them, we've failed to wow others, but we've always learned from our mistakes and to date we've raised 9 million US dollars. Pitching comes in many forms. We've pitched in boardrooms, pool cabins, nightclubs, cafes, we've talked to billionaires, CEOs, tire kickers and friends. So every single one of those kinds of people has a little bit of a different take on the things that they want to hear from you in a pitch. But there are some principles that generally stay the same. So Michael Fox, my co-founder at Shoes of Prey, is the person who leads that part of the work for us in fundraising. So I had a chat to him and we've pulled out some of the principles that are really key and tend to stay the same across those pitches. Number one, make the problem you're solving relevant to your audience. So when someone understands the relevance of the problem that you are solving and they understand why it's needed in the world, they're more likely to get behind your idea. So it's been a bit tough for us at Shoes of Prey because what we're doing is solving a problem for women and the majority of venture capitalists that we've pitched have been men. But what we did notice, however, is that a lot of their colleagues were female. So what we started to do was send them gift certificates so that they could design a pair of their shoes and then we would time the arrival of their shoes with you know, being pretty close to when we were having our meeting. And this thing that happens when women receive shoes from us and we see it posted to our social media channels is that it's a lot of fun to unbox the shoes and see how your design turned out. So with that moment of kind of excitement and seeing the shoes, these venture capitalists understood what we were doing and then they were ready to hear our pitch. Number two, set out the blue sky vision. What would your company become if you were to chase your wildest dreams? What industry are you disrupting? Have some numbers like the size of the addressable market to back you up. Three, numbers, numbers, numbers. You need to know absolutely every number on how your business operates and how your customers behave. You need to have two slides in your deck about numbers, one with historical information, unless you're pre-launch, and the other with all of your projections. Four, be polished. No one should and nobody does know your company better than you. And this is the one time that you need to be able to answer every question then and there. You as the founder are actually a really important part of this pitch. VCs need to believe that you can execute well and make this company a success. Five, keep up momentum. VCs are really time poor, so reply fast to keep up the momentum on your discussions and to keep yourself staying front of mind. Six, make your pitch deck easy to read and easy to share. The deck should be no more than 15 slides, though you can put as many extra slides as you want into the appendices with additional information. Each slide for the 15 slides should make one key point. I posted a link below to a slide deck in a video from Vinod Kosla. Kosla Ventures are one of our major investors in Shoes of Prey and it's a really great bit of information on how to pitch VCs. Seven, get warm introductions to VCs. This is pretty self-explanatory. If a friend introduces you to a friend, you're kind of predisposed to like them and want to hear from them. Same thing goes here. So some of the best ways to get introductions are through entrepreneurs whose businesses have made that VC money in the past, from entrepreneurs that have businesses that are invested in right now by those VCs, or if you've already got investors, they frequently have a really good network around them and can make those introductions for you. Eight, remember that VCs are in fact human and this is an emotional decision. There's two key things that play into that, opportunity and fear of missing out, otherwise known as FOMO. So with opportunity, you're wanting them to feel like they are definitely gonna make money out of investing in you. For FOMO, you want them to feel like they could miss out on a really fantastic deal. We have seen these two emotions play out over and over again in our fundraising. We put in the really hard work to get those first couple of term sheets done, and then these kind of emotions and concerns kick in, and more and more people want to put cash in, and you end up with more cash than space. So it's really critical that you do do the legwork and those hard yards on those first few term sheets. Wow, okay, so that's kind of the lowdown on general pitching for venture capital, but I'm sure so many of you watching this have pitched for you know, venture comp funds before. So what's your experience been? What do you wish you had known going into that process? What are the things that you would do differently? Please leave them in the comments below. And alternatively, if you were just about to hit the beat to get some cash for your business, if you've got any questions, put it below. That would be amazing. So. 
that's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another video. So stay tuned or subscribe if you want to get a not notification of that. Good luck in your fundraising process. I hope you get the valuation that you want and the cash that you need into the business. And don't forget, do everything before you're ready. Bye.